Hello, my name is Sydney Marchando, and the title of my research project is In Vitro Analysis of Human Mesenchymal Stem Cells on Polyelectrolyte Complexes in the Context of Physial Injuries. Physial injuries, commonly known as growth plate injuries, are breaks in the cartilage region at the end of long bones. The growth plate is responsible for longitudinal bone growth in children, and these breaks can result in the formation of a bony bar, which can cause growth defects. Currently, treatment methods for these injuries are not largely successful, so the goal of this project was to develop a novel treatment method using biopolymers. This project utilized polyelectrolyte complexes, or PECs, which are formed from oppositely charged polymers, in this case alginate, which is negatively charged, and chitosan, which is positively charged. These polymers interact to crosslink, forming the PECs we use as scaffolds for tissue culture and siRNA delivery. These scaffolds contain combinations of alginate and chitosan, as well as hyaluronic acid, HA, and calcium. Utilizing confocal microscopy, the distribution, adhesion, and proliferation of the cells was able to be visualized. The cells were stained with DAPI, which targets the nucleus of the cells, and the images shown at the center of the poster were taken at 10x magnification. Each image is taken 10 microns apart from the last, showing the distribution of the cells into the scaffolds. Various combinations of scaffold materials were tested to determine their impact on the human mesenchymal stem cell growth and differentiation. PECs containing both HA and RGD, which is a peptide motif that enables cell binding, showed significant decreases in alkaline phosphatase, or ALP, expression when compared to PECs without these compounds. The molecular rate of alginate was also shown to significantly affect ALP expression with a decrease for lower molecular weights. ALP is an indicator of osteogenesis, and the concentration of ALP was determined with an absorbance-based assay. These scaffolds also demonstrated sustained release of fluorescently labeled siRNA over a period of six months. The impact of siRNA on osteogenic gene expression was also analyzed in an siRNA knockdown experiment. P38 MAPK14 siRNA was utilized to target the MAPK14 pathway, which is associated with both RUNX2 and COL1A1, two osteogenic genes. These results demonstrate that expression of RUNX2 in COL1A1 is associated with the targeted knockdown of the P38 MAPK14 pathway, and this data was collected using qPCR. Ultimately, the key findings indicate the successful distribution and growth of cells on scaffolds, the impact of RGD, HA, and alginate molecular weight on ALP expression, and the successful sustained release of siRNA. Additionally, the knockdown of the MAPK14 pathway showed the impact on osteogenic gene expression. Next steps include incorporating the PECs into rat studies, improving the quality of confocal images, and gathering additional qPCR data. I wanted to thank the Betcher Foundation for providing funding for this project, as well as Michael Steger and Dr. Melissa Krebs for their guidance and assistance. Thank you.